Welcome to Veris Vignettes. I'm Lee Veris, your host for this digital photography tutorial. This is part two in the multi-part series, The 10 Channel Workflow. In this phase of the workflow, we have processed the raw file into Photoshop and are now ready to apply RGB channel luminosity to the color image. Once we have the image open in Photoshop, we're going to look at the individual RGB channels and try to find one that has better contrast, detail, or tonal shape. And we're going to use that one to apply its luminosity against the color image. Then uh, we can also add additional layers to continue to shape the contrast and detail in the image in that luminosity layer by using uh, blend modes and sometimes adjustment layers. So let's look at this in the landscape image we've been working on. Here's the uh, rather dull uh, flat image and let's look at the channels and see if we can find something that has better contrast. So here's the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Uh, Green channel again, it's better than the blue, but really the red channel seems to have the best overall contrast of all three channels. The sky is a little darker, and there seems to be a little more detail in the foreground. Uh, so we're going to use that as the basis for our uh, contrast enhancement in the image. So return to the layers panel here. I'm going to make an empty layer at the top, and I want to now grab that red channel and apply it. So I'm going to use image, apply image, and I grab that red channel from the background, red channel, and uh, I'm placing that in this empty layer here. So now watch what happens when I change the layer blending option here to luminosity. So now that's the red channel luminosity applied against the color image. You can see the church gets a little bit lighter, the sky gets a little darker. Uh, we get a little enhanced contrast here in the foreground. Uh, but perhaps the the red church is now getting a little pink uh, for my taste, so I'd like to get that to be a little darker. And I know that it was darker in the green channel. Uh, just so that we can see what's going on, I'm going to change this back to normal mode and we'll label this red for the red channel. Okay, and now I'm going to go get that green channel, see what I can do with it. So again, image, apply image. Uh, this time from the background, I'm going to get the green channel. Okay, so at the top we have the green channel. We'll label that. Right underneath it now we have the red channel and finally the color image. So what we're looking at is trying to build up this sort of black and white contrast with these uh, channel layers. So now the green channel has a darker church, but it loses contrast in the sky and the foreground. You can see as I toggle that, that's the red channel. It looks better in, in the foreground grass area here and in the sky. But the church is a little pale. So now with the green channel, the church is darker, but the sky and everything else sort of loses its drama. However, we can apply this layer to the underlying layer in darken mode. So now this green layer can only make the underlying layer darker where, the, where it's darker, which is in the church. Everything else is darker in the red layer. Okay. So my goal now is to get both of these layers to work together to apply the luminosity against this color layer. So what I have to do is create a, a clipping group. So I'm going to apply the green to the red as a clipping mask. So I'll select here from my layer options, 
create clipping mask and now that green layer is being grouped you can see how it's moved over to the right there's a little arrow here pointing down this means that this is going to be applied to this red layer before the red layer is applied to the background and that allows us to target the red layer and change it back to luminosity and now we get the combined effect of both the green layer and the red layer in luminosity mode against the color image. Now it's it's looking better to me but it still needs a little contrast. I'm going to do a trick little move here. Uh, we're going to duplicate this green layer. I'm just dragging it down to the new layer icon here and I make a new copy. And I'm going to relabel this green overlay because I'm going to try and apply this in a special apply mode of overlay which enhances the contrast. So now we've added quite a lot of contrast but we've well, it's also sort of darkened the, the shadow values and I, I don't like that. I, I like it lightening. I, I like what it's doing here to the flowers in the foreground and the, the clouds but I don't like the darkening effect that's, that it's, that's, that's happening with it. So here's another little trick. We can call up the blending options either through the menu here uh, I go to our layer options menu and I can select blending options or sometimes it's just faster just to double click in the empty area of this layer and you call up the blending options dialog which is called also the st layer style dialog. We're more interested in the center part here which are the blending options so we can see that we have it in overlay blend mode but down here we can control how this is being applied to the underlying images. So in this this layer is the green layer being applied in overlay mode and I want to limit the dark side of that calculation. I don't want the image underneath to get darker only lighter and overlay is an interesting uh, apply mode in that it enhances contrast based on the tonal values in the image where they deviate from medium gray. So if I move this black slider here over to 128, the dark half of this image cannot affect the underlying image and so it can't make the underlying image darker. It can only make it lighter which is the light half of the image we're seeing here. So moving the slider over is allowing us to blend through the darker half of this overlay layer to reveal the underlying image. And so now my contrast enhancements only happening to the white clouds and also to the little white flowers are popping out a little bit better over here. But now looking at this it seems like maybe I've made the church a little dark um, so I can return to my green layer which is being applied in darken mode and I don't have to use it at full opacity I can back it off here so I'm going to just gradually make that church a little bit lighter okay so let's see where we've come I'm going to toggle all the layers off above this by option or alt clicking on the little eye visibility icon here. That's my original image and this is where I'm at right now. So you can see I've added a lot of contrast to the sky and also into the foreground area. I'd like to maybe enhance that foreground just a little bit more. I'm going to try another little trick here. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to add another empty layer, but I want it to remain grouped to this red luminosity layer here. So I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key when I click on the new layer icon here. And that gives me new layer options. We're going to put the blue channel into this layer, and I want to make sure that it remains clipped 
to this other group here. Okay. So now let's go and apply image. Again, I, I want to stay on the background because that's where my original channels are. If I picked any of these other layers, uh, they'd have the effect of the layer enhancements that are going on in the image. So I want to grab the background blue channel and boy this channel just looks really dark, right? It's flattened out the sky and it's made everything dark, but that's because we're applying it in normal mode. So let, well, let's see what happens if I apply it, let's say, in screen or maybe even color dodge. Wow, look at all the contrast I've got in the foreground. And of course, the sky and everything else has gotten horrible, but maybe a little. There's a little extra contrast in the uh, in the dark trees over here. I don't have to use this whole layer the way it is. I can use it through a layer mask. So I'm going to create a black layer mask by holding down the Option or Alt key and clicking on the Add Layer Mask icon. And now I have a black layer mask that's hiding that blue layer which is being applied in color dodge mode. So I'll take a brush here and paint with white paint into this black layer mask and uh, I'm just going to add in our kind of color dodge brightening here in these areas. Maybe not so much back there but uh, definitely in the foreground here I'm going to just brighten this whole thing up. maybe a little bit on these trees. And maybe these trees as well. Now this is pretty exaggerated. Um, I don't want to use it full strength here. I can just bring this back to you know, maybe even just, you know, like 36%. That looks good. Okay, so I've, I've increased the lighting on the foreground here. It's starting to, the image is really starting to take shape. So now let's see where we've come from. Here's our original image, and this is now where we are now. So you can see we've added a lot of contrast and also kind of shaped the, the, the image using the channels. I haven't applied a curve at all, and I've come very far, uh, and we're ready for the next step. We're going to work on color next. Right now, the contrast is looking good, but the color, because we've only been dealing with the image luminosity, the color is rather dull. So we're ready for the next phase of our 10-channel workflow, and we're going to move into LAB.